The Mediterranean Sea represents not even 1% of the global oceanic surface, but it holds about 15% of the known marine species. It is a true hotspot of biodiversity. The Black Sea, through the Istanbul Strait, is connected with the Mediterranean and bridges Asia to Europe. The Black Sea is shallower and not as rich as the Mediterranean, but both are part of the same system, linked by a long common history of culture and commerce. The, after the fall of the Roman Empire, the city now we call Istanbul was the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. And later, the Genoese and Venetian merchants found some cities in the Black Sea coast. Despite its limited size, the Mediterranean hosts an overwhelming amount of marine habitats, from rocky cliffs to shores, sandy beaches, deep sea canyons, sea mounts, and they host habitats for thousands and thousands of species. The Mediterranean biodiversity. Being more closed and much influenced by the Danube, the Black Sea is not as rich in biodiversity as the Mediterranean Sea. In the Black Sea, the ecological processes and biological diversity are highly dependent on the biologically structured system. Dozens of the countries are developing along the coast of the uh, three continents, right on the coastal habitat facing the sea. Population and economical activities are concentrated on the coastal zone where they found resources such as fisheries, tourism, recreations, and uh, mostly commercial business. Fishing is important for entire Black Sea people. Black Sea people depend on fisheries in many ways, mostly for anchovy and suprat, uh, mackerel, host mackerel, bonito, and some others. That's why we have to protect the Black Sea, and, and the Black Sea deserves uh, protection in terms of fishing. We need fisheries. We have to protect the, all the richness of the biodiversity. Demographic pressure have a heavy impact on both coastal and underwater habitat and biosynthesis. Besides, Invasive alien species are another threat for both seas, such as Rapana venosa. It's one of the important alien mollusk species and used for the uh, beneficial uh, for fishermen. But Rapana gives huge damage to the biodiversity due to uh, predator of the native mollusk and oysters in the Black Sea. Due to invasive species, we have to work together and concerted action is requested both regionally and internationally. One hundred and fifty million people live along these shores. They reach two hundred and fifty million people in the summer when people from all over the world come here to enjoy the beauty of this place. But there is oil traffic, there are industries, there are lots of human impacts. We have to protect the beauty of these places from what we are doing to the environment. The Mediterranean Sea is among the world's busiest waterways, according for 15% of global shipping activities by numbers. Its major axis sees 90% of total oil traffic. To face these pressures, measures to protect the environment from our impacts are urgent. Fishing is a particularly important economic and social activity in the Mediterranean Sea, and total production of fisheries is estimated annually at between 1.5 to 1.7 million tons per year. 50% of the fish stocks of the Mediterranean Black Seas is overfished.
these beautiful places deserve to be protected. And in order to do so, we established marine protected areas. Beside the ecological principle of the goods and service which nature offers us, the uh, main principle is to marine protected area is to preserve uh, vanishing beauties. Marine protected areas defend the beauty of nature, but beauty is not enough. This is just the structure of the ecosystems. We need also to protect the functions that keep these habitats alive. And this brings us from spots to networks of marine protected areas. This is the future of marine conservation. To protect marine habitats, marine protected areas were established all around Mediterranean coasts, and some are present in the Black Sea, but not as many as necessary. Marine protected areas safeguard places of high biological importance and productivity, restricting fisheries and other human activities. Marine protected areas have a beneficial effect on fisheries outside their perimeters, contributing to the dissemination of juveniles and adults and important pelagic fish larvae thus helping the maintenance of fisheries resources. MPAs generate jobs because a well-managed marine protected area en enhances the reproduction of the fish and there are more fish for the fishermen who exploit nature outside the marine protected areas. A properly managed marine protected area gives a good quality of the environment and this attracts tourists who are willing to enjoy the beauty of nature. The hundreds of Mediterranean marine protected areas cover a negligible percentage of the sea. Border states often do have different regulations on protection policies. Political borders, however, are ecologically meaningless. In the Black Sea, there are some protected areas and others are planned along its coasts. Extension of the marine protected areas is not enough to save these fragile seas. Scientists are well aware that the main problem stems from the criteria used to establish every single marine protected area. Marine protected areas have been instituted in the most beautiful pieces of coast, on rocky cliffs, sandy beaches and shoals. But they are not islands. We cannot protect this beauty without protecting the functions of the ecosystems that sustain them. The main idea was to protect the most beautiful areas. But the beauty of structures must be sustained by their proper functioning. Beauty is necessary to convince people that a place deserves protection, but it is not sufficient to warrant successful conservation. True, tourism is a resource, but till now, marine protected areas have been treated as islands, but they are not. Every single meter of seabed, every single creature strongly depends on its natural habitat. Every habitat is connected and related to the ones next to it, but also to others miles and miles away, with apparently no connection with it. The function of beautiful structures requires connections. The concept of island is linked to the separation of pieces of land from a continent. The sea is the separation. 
but marine protected areas are not islands. The sea connects them. Watching a simplified animation of water circulation in the Mediterranean makes it easy to understand this idea. Currents are the main vehicle to bringing nutrients around. The life of every single habitat depends on currents. No matter how beautiful it may be to meet a giant grouper in a protected sanctuary, or how impressive a cliff covered of sea fans can be, everything will die if currents do not flow bringing plankton and other nutrients. Connectivity is the key word. All these spots of biodiversity are connected by the currents and we have to find units of conservation so as to design the networks of the future marine protected areas. Posidonia is an endemic seagrass in the Mediterranean Sea. It is a very important nursery for a great number of species. It helps to fix sediments and to create a new substrate for benthic species. Seagrass meadows are not as attractive as corals and sea fans, but their ecological role is essential and must be preserved. In the Black Sea, a similar role is played by Philophora fields. Philophora fields once provided habitat over 100 invertebrates and uh, over 50 fish species in the Black Sea. The alga was dominant in an area as large as the sum of Belgium and the Netherlands. During the 70s and 80s, this ecosystem collapsed suddenly and catastrophically due to eutrophication, the growth of muddy areas and other factors. The CocoNet project aims at promoting the shift from spots of protection to networks of protection. Scientists from 22 countries work together to design the principles for this shift. Well, in the frame of the Black Sea Pilot Project, three uh, scientific groups has been uh, organized to better understanding uh, recent status of the philophora beds in the Black Sea. The Turkish group worked in the Shila area, 70 kilometers from the city of Istanbul. A link between two worlds, a perfect example for the project Coconut. Uh, Chile area was uh, one of the candidate area and deserved to nominate marine protected area due to very peculiar ecological uh, and biological characteristics in the Turkish part of the Black Sea. This is because of its close proximity to the Istanbul Strait which is a unique marine corridor. Such corridors preserve ecosystem structure, function, and connectivity by linking core areas. During Coco Blast cruise, the researchers had several aims. Habitat mapping in the northern part of the Romanian Black Sea shelf was the first target. then collecting biological sample to describe various types of the sediments and describe the philophora ecosystem in this area. The knowledge of all ecological systems in the Mediterranean and Black Seas make evident the interdependence of the two basins.
finally, after decades, some of this habitat has been protected. It is a first important step forward, but not yet enough. Much more has to be done still. Most of the seafloor is covered by sediments. Is it a desert? Not at all. It is enough to dive at night, to discover a drizzly life, Watch the environment a bit more carefully and give the right time to make things happen. Everything happens thanks to the movement of the water and it is sufficient to look at the map of the currents of the Mediterranean to understand that. The Gibraltar Current enters from the surface, reaches the eastern Mediterranean, and comes back as an intermediate Levantine Current, flowing out from the deeper part of the Gibraltar Strait. The cold engines of the Gulf of Lyon, the northern Adriatic, and the northern Aegean are sites of deep water formation and renew the deep waters of the basin through a cascading that flows through canyons. The canyon system along the coast can also generate upwelling currents that reinforce deep water renewal, supplementing the cold engines. The coasts trigger the formation of gyres and eddies. These circulation cells are the key to the ecosystem functioning. Also in the Aegean, Marmara, and Black Sea, the current systems are main drivers of the ecosystem and provide connectivity within these seas as well as with the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. The Turkish Strait system connects the Black Sea and the Aegean Sea. The surface current flows from the Black Sea through the Istanbul Strait, Marmara Sea, then to the Aegean Sea through the Çanakkale Strait. The bottom current flows in the opposite direction, providing oxygen-rich, more saline Mediterranean water to the Black Sea. Within the Black Sea, there are four current systems, different in scale, supporting each other. The anti-clockwise main current flows parallel to the coastline, connecting the coastal areas. In the northwestern shelf area, the Danube River discharge forms currents along the western coast with some eddies. The less saline Black Sea water provides rich nutrients to the Aegean Sea through this system. The connectivity between these two seas, supported by two-layer currents in the Turkish Straits, is able to sustain marine biodiversity and production in both water bodies. It is easy to see that these wonderful sea fans will starve if all plankton is destroyed on its way. Shoals of small fishes will not follow the invisible river anymore, and the hungry barracudas will no longer be able to catch their prey. During spring, thousands of black sea bream and bogues are nesting. But this will be completely useless if their larvae die while currents are spreading them around.
The same for the sea fans. They spawn at the end of summer. Then the current allows them to colonize different areas. What will happen if on their way, all of their larvae are destroyed? Cold winds chill the surface of the waters of the northern Adriatic and of the Gulf of Lyons. This cold, dense water flows to the depth of the western and eastern Mediterranean, bringing oxygen and warranting the life of deep sea organisms. We are 100 meters below in depth. We are immersed in a rich and almost unknown realm. ROV and submersibles have been used for deep explorations. White corals have been recently discovered in the southern Adriatic and Ionian seas at several hundred meters depth. These colonies will disappear if superficial waters are polluted or poor in nutrients. Also, the deep sea is full of beauty, and even if we do not see it, we can have an impact on it. so we must take care of it and protect it, just as with the open sea. The sea is a unique and complex system. Shipwrecks become part of the ecosystem, providing space for life on muddy or sandy seafloors, becoming very attractive for huge masses of fish. Sea fans, sponges, corals can colonize the old ship and a new ecosystem can be established. Also, the submerged structures of offshore platforms have the potential of becoming a new rich habitat. Wind energy has been used since the oldest times for mills. Nowadays, its force can be used to produce clean energy. Offshore wind farms uh, may be used as a stepping stone for the marine creatures to create new habitats and to stop or mitigate trawl fishing as well as to create sustainable energy in the Black and Mediterranean seas. The huge wreck of the oil tanker Haven, sunk off the shores of Genoa, is an example of what can grow on a submerged artificial structure. The Mediterranean Sea must, for all these reasons, be considered as a complex system of many different habitats. Connected by Gibraltar to the Atlantic Ocean, from Suez to the Red Sea, and through the Istanbul Strait to the Black Sea. A progressive increase of Mediterranean species in the Black Sea demonstrates that also these two apparently independent basins are instead strongly connected. It would be nonsense to protect just one of the two and leave the other unattended.
marine litter issue is another threat for the Black and Mediterranean Sea. The source is various, such as ship originated pollution and land based pollution as well. We are in the Mediterranean pilot site of Coconut in southern Apulia. Here the Ionian and the Adriatic Sea meet. And here from the north, the currents that bring oxygen in the deeper part of the eastern Mediterranean flow. And they bring objects that can be natural, like these eggs of mollusks. So these are signs of life. But now humans are throwing litter in the sea. And so together with these objects, we can find plastic in all shapes. We have to clean our seas from marine litter if we want to preserve life in our habitats. The sea is a system protecting its hotspots without providing them with a network of protection is an hopeless enterprise. It is crucially important to protect our seas and to understand that the key to do it successfully is consider it as a system, not as a number of luxuriant, beautiful or isolated areas. All habitats are equally important, and it is a nonsense to limit protection to single endangered species and spots around the coasts. Not only tourism and local communities will in the long run enjoy the benefit from a network to protect the sea. The goal of the Marine Protected Area is to educate and to spread the right message regarding protection. The scientific community must sensibilize and lead politicians and decision makers in the right direction. They must be able to make them understand that it is not enough to protect single spots, but that a network is needed to save the sea. There are no boundaries in the sea. There are no political barriers. It's only nature. The human footprint on the planet is very great and nature cannot bear it anymore. These towers were used in the past to look for enemies coming from the sea, but the sea nowadays doesn't recognize any political barrier. There are no barriers in the sea. We have to work together to protect the nature that sustains us and the networks of marine protected areas and the production of clean energy will be an answer to this to reduce our footprint on the planet. And Coconut is a way to achieve this strategic goal.